Hi, and welcome to the Better Blinds How To Video Guide. Today I'm going to show you how to change or set up different layout codes for panel glides. So let's get started. So to take off the end cap, you take out the screws, five track layer five screws, four track layer four, three layer three obviously. So take all those out. Once you have all the screws out, then you can just grab a screwdriver and push out the end cap. Like so, just prise it out. Like so. Like so. The end cap's off, then you can slide off your carriers. Take it off your one, there's just the one screw there. So it'll hold the one in position so you can undo that. So it just comes off. So I'm setting up here for an F code three track, four panels. I'm using a five track because I don't have any three tracks with me. Okay, so the front carrier, so this is my front of my panel glide, my Velcro's on here. So this front one has a T stopper, which is actually cut down. So this internal one here is actually cut down by about three or four mil. And that's so that it doesn't rub on the fabric on this one here. Then I have the one control. Then I have the L stopper. The next carrier has a T stopper and a T stopper and it's locked in position so it doesn't move. Okay, it slides back like so. This side has a T stopper fully cut down. So it's only got one side. One control, L stopper. The last one has T stopper and T stopper. It's locked in position as well. Okay, so it slides like so. That's how it slides. So to lock off your last carrier on panel glides, there's a few different ways you can do it. Um, I'm just gonna give some general information here. Um, so when we make these in our factory, this is what we call a slider here, okay? So it's set at about 30 mil over. So you would put a screw about 35 mil over and then locks it in position, okay? So that's your back of your track. So you don't see the screw, you've got an end cap there, so it holds it in position. You can also put it on the top of the track. So if you're doing F codes or anything like that, you need to do a top of the track, you can put it in the top of the track as well. Again, you'll just measure over that 30 mil. Um, another scenario is that you may, because you're swapping these sliders around and you're going to put this one into the last one and realise, oh, hang on a minute, that one's further over. You can put two screws, one either side to lock it in position or you could move that slider back. It's just a screw, small screw that you take out and then slide it back to that 30 mil. So there's a couple of different ways you can set that last carrier and lock it off. I'm going to show you how to set up a fabric carrier. So this is a fabric carrier, depending, you know, could be different widths here, but I'm just doing a small one here. So that's a T-stopper. So to put your T-stopper in, just slide in the grooves, like so, push it in. Now if you wanted to do a L-stopper, depending which way you're facing. They want to be, the L-stoppers want to be about 50 mil over from the end, because you want your fabric overlap at about 50 mil. So put it about 50 mil. Then you can put one of these screws in to both the L and T stopper. Um, they just screw in. Um, if you are taking the screws out, be very careful because actually they snap off and break internally. And once they snap off, it's very difficult to get the L or T stopper off if that screw, that small little screw has broken inside. So that's how you set an L stopper. So remember 50 mil over from the end. And if you're putting a one carrier on, again, it just slides on the extrusion, like so. Like so, and that's about 15 mil over from the end. Roughly about 15 mil. Okay, then about 15 mil, also a screw goes in there. So that's the different ways you set up a carrier. So here's my finished F-code three track, four panels, locked in position, slides across. That's my left hand side. 
There's my wand under there. And my right hand side, locked off over here. This one's locked off. Slides back as well, like so. There's my wand there. So remember how I mentioned that tea stopper there has been cut down. So if it hadn't been cut down, it would rub on this fabric here. So that's why you cut that tea stopper down. So there you have it, how to set up a F-Code three track, four panel. Thank you very much for watching this video. Hope it helped. Have a great day.